Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to install Theos on your guys' MacBook or iMac in order for you guys to start developing tweaks on your guys' jailbroken iDevice or running iOS 11 all the way to 11.3.1 or 11.4 if you are that lucky bunch that was able to update to that beta 3 or below. So with that being said, let's get straight into this tutorial. So the first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to need to install Homebrew on your guys' MacBook. So the first string inside of the description will be this right here. Let's go ahead and copy that and then open up a terminal on your guys' MacBook or iMac. And then you guys want to go ahead and paste it. If you guys do not know how to open up a terminal on your guys' MacBook, click on Finder and then go down to Applications right here and then go to Utilities and then Terminal, double click that and then a window like this will pop up. Now once you guys see this, go ahead and do Command V to paste it and then press Enter. So since I've done this in the past, it's not going to be showing you guys too much, but just go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions on installing Homebrew on your guys' Mac. This is all automated, so once you guys press Enter, this will happen, and it's going to say press Return to Continue or any other key to abort. Go ahead and press Return on your guys' keyboard, then enter your guys' MacBook or iMac password onto your laptop or iMac, and then it's going to go ahead and install Homebrew on your guys' computer so this may take a while depending on your internet speed as well as your guys's computer so just go ahead and be patient and then once it is done you guys will see it says installation successful right here and homebrew is now enabled so now you guys can see I am back on the terminal command I'm gonna go ahead and press clear just so you guys can see everything I'm doing so the next thing you guys want to do is you guys will want to do brew install Eldid, which will be inside of the description again and then press enter inside of the terminal it will go ahead and install everything you need in terms of Eldid and since I've already installed it it's going to be saying it's already installed and up to date and then from here once you guys are done with that you guys will want to go ahead and type in the third string inside of the description which is export Theos equals tilde forward slash Theos which basically means that we are going to be putting the Theos application in our root folder named Theos inside of there so let's go ahead and press enter and then it'll be done and then what you guys will need to do is you guys will need to clone the Theos application to your Theos folder and since I've already done that it's already going to say that it exists and is not an empty folder but for you guys it might say this or it might not so just go ahead and just press enter on there and then you should be good to go for the next step so I'm going to go ahead and clear out my terminal once again and then the next thing you guys want to do is you want to click on the link inside of the description to bring up this page which allows you to download some SDKs for your guys's MacBook. So the next thing you guys want to do is you want to head over to this a link inside of the description to GitHub and click on a clone or download right here. Then click on download zip, unzip it, and then you guys will see a folder that contains this. Now you guys will see these six files inside of the zip file. Go ahead and copy all six of those and then you guys want to go ahead and go into your guys's finder and then you guys will need to go ahead and locate where Theos is at which will be on your home and then in Theos. If you guys do not know how to get to your home on your root of your laptop, you guys want to go ahead and just go to the go on the top of inside of finder on the taskbar, then click on my computer and then you guys want to do Macintosh HD or whichever C drive is inside of your guys' computer. Then go ahead and go to Users, Elite Apple Hacks is for me or it might say your name. And then you guys will see that Theos folder that you guys created earlier inside of Terminal. Open up that Theos folder and then you guys will see SDKs and then go ahead and just paste all six of those files inside of here and you guys will be good to go. Now the next thing that you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and click on the App Store on your guys' Mac and you guys will need to download Xcode and start it up and just pretend you guys are going to be making an application on that app itself. So go ahead and click on search and then just do Xcode and since Xcode is a hefty application for your guys' Mac, you guys will need to be patient on this and wait for it to download since it is about a six gigabyte file so once you guys have this installed go ahead and just open it up and then just make a quick little file of a project or anything you guys want just to have the application start up and install everything you guys need to do now just to make sure that Theos is working you guys want to do this inside of terminal and type this out so you guys want to do Theos in all caps you want to do forward slash bin forward slash nic dot pl and this is what will allow you to start creating tweaks with a template built into theos now once you guys do this press enter on here 
and then it, you will see this menu pop up saying what kind of application or tweak you guys want to do with your guys' iPhone in Theos. Now, if you guys want to select one, it'll be an activator event. Number two, application modern, a SIGIT flip switch switch, a framework, an iOS 7 notification center widget, which most likely you guys will not be needing to do, a library notification center widget, preference builder, preference bundle modern and iPhone tool tweak or XPC service now most of us with this tutorial are going to be making tweaks so where it says choose a template required you guys will just need to type in what you guys want to do so I'm going to be doing a tweak so we're going to do 11 and then just press return and then project name just go ahead and type in whatever you want I'm just going to do YouTube for example press enter and then do package name and then you're just going to do com dot and then whatever you want your package name to be so i'm going to do eah for elite apple hacks and then i'm going to name it youtube for the tweak and then just press enter author and maintainer go ahead and just press enter on there and then press enter again if you guys are going to be doing this with mobile substrate and i am also still learning how to develop tweaks for ios so if this is anything wrong you guys will need to go ahead and just change your guys's preference in order for this to work so go ahead and press return on there if you guys are just making something and just trying out to make tweaks for yourself and then if you guys have any other tweaks that won't be needing to be terminated or will not be compatible with this tweak go ahead and type it in for here but for now i'm just showing you guys an example so i'm just going to go ahead and press return and then it's going to say that the youtube tweak that i'm going to be making is done now where to find that again you guys will be needing to go to that home screen and then you guys will be needing to find the folder with the project that you made so for example here it is youtube and then you guys will see a control file make file tweak.xm and a youtube.plist now tweak.xm will be where you actually write your code in order for you guys to make tweaks on your guys's iDevice so i'm just going to do text edit right here and then opening up tweak xm you guys will see this message right here and it's going to be basically showing you guys how to develop tweaks and how to hook classes and such i cannot get too into this since i am still learning how to make tweaks myself but if you guys are experienced with tweaks as well you guys can go ahead and just do command all and then just delete it so you guys have an empty workspace to work with so i'm just going to press x right here and i'm going to be opening up the make file which i'm going to be showing you guys which will need some edit for each one of your guys's tweaks that you guys want to make so i'm going to be opening up with text edit you guys can use other applications such as sublime text in order for you guys to edit these text files as well to make it easier if you guys prefer that as well but anyways guys inside of the make file you guys will see include theos make file common dot mk this is wrong you guys will need to relocate where Theos is at inside every guys this laptop or iMac in order for it to find this common.mk file now this is very important guys so keep watching so what you guys will need to do is inside of your guys' root file where Theos is at right here you guys will see the bin extras include lib all these other files and then the make files right here in the common mk but your computer does not know where that's at hence which is why Theos is in parentheses now you guys will be needing to redirect where make file slash common.mk is at so from here you guys want to go ahead and find the theos folder as a whole right click and then get information about it then you guys will see where it says where and then macintosh hd users elite apple hacks you guys want to just copy this whole entire thing right here and do command c and then go ahead and just close that out and then highlight all of this theos right here and then do command v and then you want to do forward slash theos and then from here you guys want to go ahead and also where it says the tweak.xm you guys will be needing to add this as well so you guys will need to do youtube or whichever name you guys chose for the tweak and you want to do underscore frameworks equals ui kit and i also need to just pull this up on an existing application that i have already created so as you guys can see you guys want to do frameworks equals ui kit also another thing what you guys will be needing to do is allowing this tweak to work in your guys' 64-bit device so from the top just go ahead and press enter with the cursor right before include and then go up a one line and then do arcs equals arm v7 space arm 64 which will allow 64 bit allowance with your guys's computer and again make sure this whole entire make file is basically how mine looks right now so 
for example is just going to do the money sign and then forward slash and make sure there's no parentheses in here whatsoever and then just do users and then your guys's username and then the Theo's folder make sure it's spelled correctly with caps or without caps depending on if you guys made the Theo's with or without the caps and then just go ahead and do the frameworks right here and then you guys will be good to go and do command save again and then inside of your guys's terminal in order for you guys to make the package what you guys want to do is you guys want to do make space package and this will make the deb and then you guys will see a couple things of it being made it's going to be compiling your guys's tweaks and then it will add it inside of the folder itself now from here as you guys can see it's going to go ahead and just add everything that it needs to do and momentarily it will say that the building package is inside of this package folder right here inside and it will be a dot dev file so once you guys open up the packages folder you guys will see your very own tweak inside of its dev form now you guys can go ahead and install this in multiple ways just go ahead and look up a tutorial on youtube or if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to install devs on your guys's device directly go ahead and leave a like on this video down below so that's going to be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for allowing me to make this kind of video and thank you guys for listening and just showing a lot of support in my most recent video videos lately so if this guide actually helped you go ahead and leave a like down below and also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as a lot more videos in regards to iOS 11 and iOS 12 and if you guys have any questions or any other bugs in regards to this tutorial go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and try to respond with a fix for that if I'm not too sure you guys would need to go ahead and poke around for other tutorials and other guides on Google if I cannot get to you and don't forget to also follow me on Twitter and turn on the notification bell in order for you guys to be pinged when I make new content and release it so you guys will be up to date on anything jailbreak related so with that being said guys I'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out